What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video, another jailbreak status update for you guys. Now with the release of iOS 14.5, I'm going to stress to not update to that version of iOS. Now iOS 14.5 has been in beta for a very long time, so I wanted to talk about this. Why has 14.5 been in beta for such a long time? And the reason I think is because uh, the security content is going to have a ton of patches, meaning there might be a lot of vulnerabilities that can be used for a jailbreak. So if you guys are on 14.4, stay there. If you're on 14.4.1, stay there. If you're on 14.4.2, stay there. Stay on the lowest version of iOS possible. And again, as I like to show in these videos, the way you can do this is go into general, go to software update and disable automatic updates, uh, turn that off. Go ahead and turn that off like I just did and your iPhone will not update. It will prompt you in the future that it'll say, hey, there is an update available. Uh, you can bypass it and just basically tell it not to update. Now, as you guys can see, my, my daily 12 Pro Max is on the newest version of iOS 14.6, which is the first beta here. Uh, I do keep this iPhone on the newest betas at all times for testing purposes and stuff like that. But um, like I said, stay on the lowest version of iOS possible. That is the most important thing you can do. And I think we do have a strong chance at some vulnerabilities being released uh, that would support 14.4 through 14.4.2. Uh, and that's huge. Th those are probably going to be bugs that could possibly be used uh, for uncover or touring to update. Now I'm going to quickly touch base on the other jailbreaks and what versions they work on. And also I'm going to talk about check rain because uh, there's a lot of questions about check rain. So if we just go to go ahead here and go to the official check rain website, I will leave each website link in the description. They are the official websites for these jailbreaks. Um, there is nowhere else to go for them. So just go to the official websites. Uh, if there's any other, like you've seen any other videos on YouTube directing you to a different name of the website, it's a fake website. It's a fake, it's a fake jailbreak. It's a fake video, unfortunately. Uh, so like I said, I'll have the official links in the description and they are the official jailbreaks that actually do work on iOS 14. Now check rain, as you guys would know, uh, does support uh, the iPhone 10 and older. So iPhone 10, iPhone 8, 8 plus, 7, 7 plus, etc. Basically, if your device has an A11 chip or older, you can use CheckRain. So A11, A10, A9, A8. So if you're curious about an iPad, just Google which chip it has in it. And if it's A11 or older, you can use CheckRain. Now CheckRain works, as you guys can see right here, iOS 12 and up. Um, but I have confirmed that it does not work on 14.5, at least not yet. We do have to wait for an update for CheckRain and then it should support that version. And I will cover it obviously on the channel here once it does support 14.5. Uh, but it does work on 14.4.2 and lower. Uh, and like I said, this is for iPhone 10 and older. Also, uh, it does not work currently on the M1 chip Max. So if you have an Apple Silicon, MacBook Pro or Mac Mini like I do, um, CheckRain does not currently work on those machines. Uh, it does need an update and hopefully we see an update. And like I said, when it does update, I will cover it obviously on the channel here. So uh, CheckRain is uh, supported for Mac and Linux. If you guys have a Windows machine, you can use, um, I believe it's called a CheckNix. Basically it's a Linux. Uh, you put Linux onto a USB drive and boot your Windows uh, machine up in Linux and then you can use CheckNix to jailbreak on Windows. Uh, I've never covered it. I don't have a Windows machine, so I apologize, uh, but it is possible on Windows. But the main support is for Mac and Linux. And uh, like I said, just uh, make sure you're not on 14.5 because it's currently not working. And of course, as I like to mention, this video might be outdated by the time you guys are watching. And if you guys are watching it in the future, be sure to check out the playlist link in the description. It's the link for all of my most up-to-date jailbreak status videos uh, so check that out I'll, i will always keep the most up-to-date jailbreak information at the top of that playlist so just be sure to check there to make sure this isn't an old video so also we got uncover as you guys can see this supports ios 11 through 14.3 uh, it does not currently support 14.4 14.4.1 or 14.4.2 or even 14.5 i'm sure 
as soon as 14.5 gets released, you're going to see a flood of scam videos on YouTube uh, showing uncovers supported on 14.5. As of the vid making of this video, it is not supported. It only goes up to 14.3. And that's going to be the same as the Taurine iOS 14 jailbreak. This only supports iOS 14.0 through 14.3. And like I said, as soon as these jailbreaks are updated or there's more information, I will do an updated video as soon as I can see the, the security content that 14.5 patches. I will cover that as well. And I do like to mention... Um, the GitHub here for the Secuta Verosa exploit because I like to remind people that this is the exploit that was used in Uncover and in Taurine uh, for the iOS 14 jailbreak. And if we go to the bottom here, again, we're still waiting for that PAC bypass. Hopefully we see Modern Poner release that, which would affect, I, I would believe, 14.4, 14.4.1, and 14.4.2. And uh, this could be used to update the Uncover and the Taurine Jailbreak to support those versions of iOS. So like I said guys, stay on the lowest version of iOS 14 possible. If you're on 14.4, stay there. 14.4.1, stay there. 14.4.2, stay there. There's no need to try and update from like 14.4 to 14.4.2. Uh, it's, it's really unnecessary. Um, and of course, 14.4.2 is still being signed. So if you guys are watching this video you can check out let's go into i'll just show you guys real quick here if we go to ipsw download and we go to ipsw me i'll leave the link for this in the description as well if you guys want to see what is uh still downgradable so if you go into the iphone section here we'll just do the 12 pro max um, as you can see currently 14.4.2 is still being signed once 14.5 is released uh, they will continue to sign 14.4.2. So if you guys are watching this um, in the future, check out this website if you guys want to downgrade from 14.5 to 14.4.2. It is possible when this is still lit up green. Um, as soon as any of these are red, that means you can no longer uh, downgrade to them as Apple is no longer signing them. So this is a useful website to have in your arsenal so you can see what Apple is currently signing, what you can downgrade to. So like I said, once 14.5 comes out, if I were to upgrade to it on this iPhone, as long as 14.4.2 is still green, I can downgrade this iPhone to 14.4.2. Uh, so like I said, if it's green, you can downgrade to it. If it's red, you can no longer downgrade. So again, a link for this will be down in the description. And that's gonna be basically uh, it for this jailbreak status update, guys. Um, I am working on something new, um, a Telegram that's going to be specifically for my jailbreak update videos. And what's nice about Telegram is it pushes to your iPhone, like, you know, just a notification anytime I post something new. Um, I will give you guys more details, hopefully here soon about that. So if you guys want to get basically a notification when there's a new jailbreak update, um, you will be able to do that once I have it all ready for you guys. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this update video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. Um, and if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.